See, our show is not interested in science, commerce, and also comedy. The idea initially was to go to discovery. Now we'll be in rediscovery because we're seeing it again. Hello friends, uh, a lot of people are, you know, rubbishing it and saying bad things about it, but not everybody has hated Hello Friends. We have some supporters, people who work with us, a legend actually, one of the actors who gets actors respect, peer respect. Gopal, you've watched Hello Friends, just tell everybody that it wasn't the worst show ever. Oh, which one? Hello Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have got texts from some of the leading lights in the comic world because of the impact of Hello Friends. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's, it's a little bizarre actually because you know, I mean to get Ricky Gervais to send me a text saying thank you because of Hello Friends, the experience that changed my life, I created The Office. And then Steve Carell also said thank you for Ricky Gervais creating The Office because he saw Hello Friends which I then subsequently saw and then I decided to do the American version. I mean Bill Burr, one of the greatest comedians of all time in my mind, he says every day he watches 5-10 to 10 minutes just to inspire him. It's a bit like doing yoga for comedians. So I, I want to also put it out there that we have done our bit for our community. So we're appreciated in the community. The last words that I heard of praise this morning was Norm McDonald's. And he said, hello friends. Two words, hello friends. <laughs> 10 reasons you should watch hello friends. Number 10, Simon Singh's friend, Maria Goretti. Number nine, I also got from Simon Singh how to switch from Hindi to English and uh, put on a British accent when you do that. Number eight, the cutlery. Number seven, there's a brown chair which is really comfortable which Anil Dimri sits a lot in. Number five, Anil and Dimri. It's like two different characters. Number four, the shoes. The shoes match the belts and pants of all the characters which I've never seen before on any show. Just watch that, don't look at anything else. Number three, Kunal Vijaykar is weighing in at 71 kilos for the first and only time in the history of television. His career of 27 years where he's played many women and a few men has never been under the weight of 95. This is the only time we have him at 71. Number 4. In the background there's a bird. It's in episode 8 and it's there for just one second. You have to look really carefully to see it. There's a bird, not a metaphorical bird, a real bird, a birdie, Chidia, Pakshi. Number 2. Nikhil Chinappa. Nikhil Chinnapa's handling of uh, the loss of love in his life when he loses the wife was... There was a lot of pathos, there was a lot of pain, inner stated angst which only comes across in certain chin movements, literally, that he does, the lower part of his face. He stole the show. His performance was fantastic. What started out as a comedy ended as a romantic novel. Yeah, uh, genre changed by episode 4, changed again by 7 and by 17 when I took off, it was a reality show about 6 people with no work which continues till today. And number one, language. Just listen to the language of the characters. Here's a secret about Hello Friends. None of us spoke to each other ever again. So Hello, we're not friends. <laughs>